talking about doing an agro-industrial style band, which is a term we coined uh, melding industrial music with agrarian music. <laughs> The cacophonous sounds of tractors and combines and trains and like hammers on anvil. And I've always liked this band. I've always thought it was a great band, underappreciated. Um, one of one of the I truly think one of the, the great American bands. Maybe it's maybe I can't say that now that I'm in the band. It's, it's like that kind of mod beatnik attitude crept into indie rock that sort of like I don't show any effort yes I don't I'm too intellectual I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna scratch the maggots in my beard and contemplate the navel and I'm going to be if anything it's fear based because no one wants to like let on that they don't really know what's good <laughs> Yeah, was it certainly amazing frontman. I remember being a kid, and I thought that was the requirement of a. That's why I wasn't one. Yes, because you had to be fearless, and that used to be a requirement to have a, a, a frontman that does it. And I'm, I'm thrilled that we got. I think one of the best out there. But I'm also a little surprised that that it's so novel. All it is, it's vaudeville. I mean, think about it. We're you're playing like string stretched on a piece of wood, you know, when smacking and hitting things and making noise like a two-year-old, you know, like I'm, I'm playing into a little fart kazoo. I mean, it's ridiculous. Why are you making it out to do <laughs> rocket surgery? Were you guys, uh, you know, the night of the election? What were you? What were you on tour? Yeah. We we're playing in Mobile, Alabama. Aren't Americans like a whole bunch of shit anyway? Aren't we all like? I'm no, not. I'm not like some weird master race one thing. You know. It's right. Like, it's, it's a few things in there if you trace it down. That's pretty much everyone. He's just sort of a darker example of it. And I don't, I don't understand why we find that relevant. Well, let's talk about the election. Look at what has happened, you know, with the crash and all this greed. It's almost like Obama was, is the, the, the incarnation of the zeitgeist. Everyone is so sick of the greed and the corruption that they're like, mm -hmm. Obama, they're just vomiting, Obama. That's just like an expression, it's this explosion of rage against all of these corrupt assholes, and it makes sense. Mm -hmm.